feel like I'm following Tiger down the 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 18th, you know, at Augusta right now. So. <laughs> kind of spectating. I know the feeling because I've played the game. It's just, you know, at this point, you're just not really in the running, but it's still fun to see greatness. You know, uh, people competing for a. Uh, for pride, and you don't really understand it unless you've been in that uh, in that, that, that arena. That, yeah, and uh, you know, as much as you like to see the victory, sometimes the agony of defeat is that much that much fun to watch. Because I've been there, I've been on both sides. You know, I've been a been a champion, been a runner-up, and uh, just been, been well out of contention. <laughs> been well out of contention. I I, I I know them all. Uh, you know, what am I? 32 years old, so I've probably been doing this for the yeah, better part of 31 years. And the, the toughest part about it, I'll say this, is you know, it comes and it goes so fast, and then you, you literally you had a whole year of anticipation. Uh, some people are excited for Santa Claus to come. <laughs> I get excited for the Easter egg hunt. Okay, he's telling us. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. You want to know what you're? You want to know what you're after? You want you're after? Six hundred yeah. eggs. Oh, yeah. Six. There are six hundred eggs out there. There are seventy-eight <laughs> eggs with a name on them. Wow. And every one of those are worth a dollar. If you find your own name, it's worth ten dollars. No trading. No trading. If you trade, you're you're disqualified for. Seven years. <laughs> Anybody trades and trades their own name, I'll, we'll line you up. We'll all line up and we'll kick your tail one at a time. <laughs> the goal of the hiding group today will be to allow everybody to have the opportunity to make a little bit of cash, but to have the fun that is involved in Easter egg hunting. <laughs> Well, to me, the Easter egg hunt means my entire year's salary. <laughs> I woke up and I was like, I'm gonna, well, I had my boss like, from an old job texting me when he left tomorrow. Because I told him the story. I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to hunt for Easter. And people were like, you go home for Easter? And he was like, what? What a big deal. And so I told him. Father, I thank you for this family, for this circle, and Lord, that uh, we will be great Christians, and that we will follow you, and that we will love you, and we will love your son. We ask, Lord, that you will direct us in everything that we say and do, that we will honor you, and that we will honor this, uh, the name of Jesus Christ in everything. I thank you for this food. I thank you for each one represented here. I thank you for babies to come. I thank you for just your goodness to us as a family. And Lord, help us to never forget that you died for me. Mm -hmm. We love you. We thank you for your goodness to us. In Jesus' name we pray. Go ahead, start with that. Well, to me, the egg, egg hunt's just fun. Because I never win, and I'm never close. But it's just fun. And here, it's just chaos. Controlled chaos. And that's what the egg hunt is. Controlled chaos. <laughs> okay, you can try to cut a hole in my bag. <laughs> This is this is only a third of it. Oh, you see, that's a, the other one. A multiple piece. It's a great system. Calling it the free bag system, yeah. My chances are pretty low. 
this year because people have better bags and well my bag has to be perfect so I take off the handles because then when I don't use them they won't be annoying and the opening has to be big enough for my hand to fit through but still small so then when I trip over a rock or a little person then my eggs won't fall out and <laughs> can I just rip off a long strip? Alexis are you yeah, on? Okay. 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 You know what would be really funny if I started cutting holes in everybody's bags? That way when they run? She got going Casey. Hi. Right. I have nothing going. That's the problem. <laughs> hey Casey. Hey. What's the strategy with the bag, Alex? Trying to get something to put eggs in. You cut a hole in my box? All in one basket. Typically is how I do it. Alright. All my eggs, one basket. Excellent. Good work. Thanks. No, they would not. Wait, where's the duct tape? Danielle has it. Gosh, I always get it. Madison, what's the strategy with the bag? Um, you know, we're just going to see how it ends up. Well, this Easter egg hunt for me is a chance to prove that although my athleticism in sports is not qualifying, I can still, I can still put myself out there and I can still really show that I have what normally I don't have at all. So, my chances, last year they were 16 to 1 and I came in fourth. So this year I'm hoping I can up that game and maybe do a one and six. I don't know. We'll see. You know, I'm feeling pretty good, I guess, but you know what? I, last year was the best year I'd had yet, and this year just trying to sustain the good. Well, I think I have a pretty good shot since I'm out in this weather every day. Um, this money would help a lot trying to buy a car because I wrecked mine. <laughs> so, yeah. if you find an egg that shakes and makes noise, it's worth 50 cents. If you find a little tiny egg about that big, it's worth a dollar. If you find there are four jumbo eggs, you've seen them before. They're glass on the top side, pink on the bottom side. They're hidden a little harder. And there are four of them. They're each worth five bucks, and you get to keep whatever's on the inside. There's a whole bunch of other stuff, and your moms will tell you how much they're worth. But first place, no, seventh place is ten bucks. Sixth place is fifteen dollars. <laughs> Fifth place is 20, fourth place is 30, third place is 40, second place is 60, first place is 85. First of all, I just want to thank everybody that supported me this far. I think that if we just go out there and work hard and do what we do, that it'll all be taken care of. I know that I've been up since 4.45 this morning, and it's going to be a great year. Uh, it's just a fun way to, you know, throw a ship and just have a friendly competition. Um, but it's pretty intense, not just a friendly competition. Um, and my odds this year, they're not great. Last year I think I placed like sixth, but I feel like this year could be a lower percentage chance of me getting higher because I accidentally took NyQuil instead of Dayquil this morning. So I'm a little out of it. But, yeah, Are you baby home? that's it. Well, I personally think that my chances are about zero. But, hey, there's a difference between chances at winning and then your goal of 20 eggs. And I think that I think I just I'm going to change my approach this year. So I think my chances at 20 are going to be okay. I'm a little excited because, again, a disappointing year last year. So trying to come out strong. Uh, I think, um, think I'm going to come out to the right this year instead of the left. Switched it up last year. It didn't work. So I had a strong strong showing. Me and Janelle had a strong showing in 2016. We're going to try to repeat as uh, double winners here this year. Well, back in 2014, I was the second girl to make the shirt. So I think it would be really great if we could do that again. Easter Hunt is special to me because... All of our family just goes out there and tries to find all the eggs, and then when you're done, you get to put your name on the t-shirt if you won. And so, I really like the Easter egg hunt. And 
but you know, it's all about uh, fellowship and fun and just anything you do to help the ball club. And you know, if your name gets on the shirt at the end of the day, great. But it's about it's about the memories that you make more than uh, just the amount of eggs. At least that's what I want other people to think. Um, but I'd be lying if I said the shirt didn't mean something. Uh, you know, I've gone through this. I'm the youngest winner ever. Uh, at uh, a little bit less than 12 years old, um, back in 1997, I've been on the shirt five times. I'm really kind of trying to create a legacy um, within this Easter egg hunt, and um, you know, you're just not guaranteed the next year, so you just try to win the year that's in front of you. You know, there's a a lot of guys on the DL this year, and um, you know, I'm just thankful I got one more year. I uh, try to get that sixth title, and you know, it, this is a very different perspective for me this year. Uh, I had back surgery two weeks ago, and so I'm on the DL. But uh, it's it's a it's a different perspective because I've never seen the hiding side of things, and so I had a chance a little bit earlier to go out and uh, watch the hiders hide. And so I think next year I'll have a little bit more of an advantage because I've seen some technique uh, that will that will hopefully give me an advantage next year. But it's great to still see the uh, uh, the, the the atmosphere is is rich. It's uh, uh, it's fun. It's a festive atmosphere. Everybody's ready. I feel like it's going to be a really tight Easter egg hunt this year, and so I'm excited to watch it from a, a, a perspective as a as a bystander. And so it's going to be still fun, uh, just fun to get together and have a good time. So it's, it's a little different this year, but it's all good. Are we going to do quadrants or? We'll do quadrants. Yeah, I have a prediction. Two. This could be the quickest hiding that ever went. It's a little chilly out there. Uh, <laughs> cold. <laughs> but out there starting a the fire. It's cold out. It's going to be a rough one today. I feel not very confident about the Easter egg hunt today because I plan on getting like 10 is my goal. And then I'm going to come in and drink warm coffee. <laughs> so. Great. When you when you put Great. this video together, you so can you do the, the Beach Boys Wipeout song with as wet as it is. As far as this stretch, wipeout. as far as this stretch, we're gonna go. Play. That is very wet back there. I mean, three inches of water standing out by the trampoline, and it is in play. So there are. <laughs> yeah. Right. Swimming, <laughs> so again, play set. You come up by the patio, you include the sandbox. Nothing goes past the sandbox more than maybe six feet. I'm feeling good this year. I mean, I've, I've had two disappointing performances, but uh, this year's different. I don't know why. I just got a lot of sleep last night. I'm feeling good. Drink some coffee. And I just really feel like I, I finally got a sense for it. Because the first couple of years, I didn't really know what I was doing. But now I know where they hide the jumbo eggs. And... There, it does come a time where, you know, you watch Alicia get a jumbo in her name egg. And you're like, that's actually great. I remember those days. I've never gotten a jumbo. I never. I, it doesn't matter your name's on the white shirt. Multiple I, times. I'm the kind of hunter that normally picks up a lot of useless eggs. He wants and goes a lot for of the, the 10 cent, 5 cent eggs. Yeah. But some people get those jumbo eggs. I got neither. Those of you that are looking for that one special egg, the jumbo, the one with your name on it, whatever the case may be, needs to know that we do not pick on those of you that have not found that egg. Our goal is just to make sure that you have the opportunity to find that special egg. Oh, you've got to be cautious here. It's the known egg hiding. You've got to make it so they just don't roll away with the wind. All right, this is year one for me. Don't really know what to expect. Um, hoping to just turn some heads, but really this is just the year for feeling it out. So come back next year, um, and I'll really have a better, better plan of attack. We really should have delayed this process this year. The grass isn't very friendly for hiding. <laughs> I believe I'm passing out candy this year with Terry. I know. I'm feeling very mature. <laughs> I'm 40 now, you know. <laughs>
is a hard job. <laughs> I'm not sure how many people realize how hard it is to hide 600 eggs in the open and hide them. My advice for Christian would be stay low to the ground. Don't stand up much. Just keep your eyes focused there. And uh, kind of like his golf game. You know, when you're really hunting for it all the time, I think that probably will lend to his abilities for looking for balls out in the, in the open area there. So I think he'll probably do well at this, is my guess. I got a fair idea of where they're going to be, and now I just got to get there quicker than anybody else and have no problem beating Rob and Alex at all. Uh, Uncle Kent, who's a videographer, is the real wild card because he lied to me last year. He lied, and I learned that. I learned that nobody can be trusted. And um, so now you can't trust me. So now I, I am. It's just me and my own. My wife even threw me under the bus last year in the I'm feeling pretty confident about the Easter egg hunt this year. It means a lot to my family. It's a lot of pride. I don't think we've won it before, actually. Um, yeah, I got two spouts here for eggs and uh, to help reduce cheating, possibly. Um, I think I'm, I'm pretty confident this year that I could place third at least. Still like 25 bucks, so that's great. My goal is to get one dollar. Not as easy as it sounds. How many are you gonna find? I don't find Easter eggs, <laughs> so when I find that it's been a really long time since the last time I found an egg, I pretend like I'm helping children. Little people. I used to be a little kid when we hunted Easter eggs. Now I'm one of the old men hunting Easter eggs. Slowly. Go! Fine hiding this year, Sam. Yes, uh, they're gonna find they missed a few. But that's what good hunting is all it's about. Always fun to watch them come back through, isn't it? That's right. Unbelievable. Down, Terry. Oh, nice. Yeah, I had a couple falls. Bag was not, the hole was not big enough. That is I got pockets full. <laughs> I started putting my pockets. 
Way to be resourceful. That was a trick. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> How's it going, Casey? Yeah, it's going pretty good, I think. Good? You're freezing? Fell down. Yeah. <laughs> you need a Had a fall. Me and Amy. Did you? We got into it. She, did you know, she did good. Did she win? I grabbed it, and then I dropped it, and then she grabbed it, and she dropped it, but then I got it. Okay. And we did good. Oh, good. Everybody's happy? We're happy. Great. I don't know. I haven't seen her since. Looks like success there, Landon. Got him. I've got candy. Anybody want candy? Candy. If you're not doing so good, there you go. Sometimes. Catherine got. Number? Mm. Had more, had less. I think I'm sitting about 20, 20. Casey, do you have a number? I have 30. Good hey, number. Hey, that was good whispering to you. Yeah, uh, bag of oh, yeah. Just put them in your winner's bag. Still got 30. How many do you have? How many do you have? I only have. <laughs> it was my worst year ever. <laughs> no, I have 14. How are you doing? It's humbling for me this ready. year. We're going to be ready. Do you have a number? Just tell the iPad. Nobody else can hear. I have 19 eggs. Don't laugh at me. That is the lowest. I've I, I, have, I have gotten 19 eggs before. But when he was eight. 30. <laughs> <laughs> Not all the numbers are in. I'm hoping there's a sandbagger out there. No offense to Casey. But it's always exciting when somebody... It's always exciting when somebody else comes in and says, I have 33 eggs. And everybody thought that 30 was the winning number. And then number, the person with 30 has to go back out because... Oh, no. No, no. Count them. There's an Honey, have our pilot order us a bottle of champagne. <laughs> <laughs> I think, Cheers. I think your Uber is here. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
I thought I was doing good. Mm -hmm. Not worth it. I don't really want to do that. It's up there. What do you have, Daniel? Not as many as you. Thank you. What's the number? Quietly. There's more out there. <laughs> Let's go, Neil. We're tying this year again. <laughs> I didn't leave it in there, right? Right now, right now in first place is Quentin with 33. <laughs> Janiel with 32. <laughs> Casey with 30, and he is oh, gone. He's out. Alex with 27, Christian with 26, That's nice. Bethany with 25, Jared in 7th with 24. Hold on, where are you at? Where are you at? Yeah. I just don't want to get in the shot. That's a 2. Okay, back that up. So Jared is in eighth place. Sorry, Jared. There are two eggs left. And Uncle Sam, just in case you're doubting that there really are two, said that he has seen one in the last five minutes. Where have you been? So outside. Do with it what you will. The rest of us will just keep drinking coffee. Don't know what you're thinking right now. You're at 33. 33, she's one behind me. The only concern is there's two eggs out there. I mean, she could actually pull ahead of me. I already got first pace almost locked up as long as anyone but her finds an egg. That's, that's, that's my only concern. So you're it's going like 20, It's like 20 degrees out here. Searching for an egg, crawling through the dirt and mud. Where'd you go there? Yeah, the Easter egg hunt uh, is just something we've done for long decades, decades. Since I was a child, that's over 40 years. Uh, the truth is, it's a time when we get as many people together as we can. Uh, family, in-laws, outlaws, everybody comes together. And the beauty of it is we're celebrating uh, the day of the Lord's resurrection. But the truth is we're having a lot of fun together. Everybody getting along, everybody having very friendly competition, ribbing each other a little bit for the most part. We're just, we're just doing things together as a family, and uh, that's what we try to do. We love one another. Um, yeah, what better, what better things can you get than that? The Easter egg hunt is special to me because you get to find all the eggs, and you get to count all of them, and that Jesus raised from the dead. Amen. Awesome.